This video is for people with a TP Link router, um, which basically has the two or one USB port on the back, as seen on this picture. If your router doesn't have a USB input, obviously this video won't be much use to you because you actually need a new router. So the first thing you need to do is go to 192.168.1.1 and you should come up with this TP window, TP-Link window. This is actually access to your router. Then it's just admin and your password and it will sometimes be admin and then password admin, sometimes admin and the password password. Refer to the manual if you don't know. Mine's different because I've actually changed it for security reasons. They might have changed it back by the looks of it. Uh, Admin. That's it, okay. Um, then just go down here on the left hand side and you're looking for USB settings. As you can see, I've got two USB sticks plugged in SDA1 and SDB1. Uh, one's 7.2 gig and the other is 29 gig. They're both active, you can switch them off as well. I find this is quite a useful thing for the kids' cartoons, for example, because it keeps them off my main uh, hard drives because they're not going to do any damage to these little drives and they're easily accessible across the network. So you've enabled it. You should be able to see it. If you can't see it here, that's going to tell you that you haven't got USB plugged in or there's something wrong with the USB. Um, so we're going to assume that you've got it working. It's showing up here, which means it's good to go. The next thing you want to do is add user accounts. I put on friend as a secondary account. It's enabled uh, with another password. Um, I don't actually need this to log in funny enough so I put it there just in case it needed to it needed it but I haven't actually needed to log in using this so far on the um, logins. Next you need to go along to whichever version of Windows, doesn't matter if it's 7, 10, whatever, 8. Just type run and you'll get this little bit that says run at the top. You can say here, just run. This will give you the run command and basically what you want is two backslashes then 192.168.1.1 click enter and these are now live on the network. As you can see, the kids have got some stuff on there that they're currently watching. And that's it. It's as simple as that. Thanks for watching.